Question 25. The structure of 3 methyl cyclobutane is shown. This one. A mixture containing all stereo isomers of 3 methyl cyclobutane is treated with uh, HBr. Uh, this produces a mixture of isomeric bromomethyl cyclobutanes. Okay, later we discuss this one. Uh, how many stereoisomers does the 3 methyl cyclobutene and how many uh, isomeric bromomethyl cyclobutanes are present in the product mixture? Uh, first, let's figure out the 3 methyl cyclobutene, how many stereoisomers it has. So, um, this one we know that uh, this compound it has CC double bond, uh, but it's in the ring. Uh, so this one will not form a cis trans uh, isomers. Okay, because uh, in order to form cis trans, we know that uh, let's say now we have butene. If the two methyl group uh, at different side, so this is trans. If the two methyl group at the same side, so it's cis. Because this is a ring structure and this double bond, uh, it will not really give the uh, cis trans uh, because the the position is actually kind of fixed, right? Uh, so the only uh, place that can form stereoisomerism is this uh, carbon. This is a chiral carbon uh, because uh, this one, okay, this one is has one hydrogen, okay, one group, two, three, and four groups. So therefore, uh, one chiral carbon it will form two stereoisomers. Okay, therefore the three methyl cyclobutene uh, it has three stereoisomers. Uh, sorry, two stereoisomers. So it's just A or B. Now let's figure out the products bromomethyl cyclobutane. Uh, this one is um, uh, let's put the numbers on that. Uh, let's uh, put this one as a first carbon, second carbon, and third carbon. If the HBr is added, okay. Let's say the bromine now is added to the first carbon and the hydrogen uh, is uh, to the second carbon so you form the products on this uh, left hand side okay so as you can see uh, this carbon and this carbon they are not chiral carbon huh? because uh, this one is uh, uh, okay let's say this carbon it has uh, one bromine one hydrogen and this group is from ch2 CH, CH3, CH2 until here. If from another side, so it's also CH2, CH, CH3, CH2. It's actually the same sequence, means it's the same group. Therefore, uh, this carbon and this carbon, they will not uh, be uh, form the stereoisomerism, means uh, the these are opticals. Okay, so it's not a chiral carbon, so no opticals isomer form. Uh, but this product, it can form cis trans because uh, the bromine and the methyl uh, it can be different side or same side okay let's say the bromine uh, it can be uh, above the ring this is above ring and the methyl can be below the ring so this is a trans isomer uh, if let's say now both uh, bromine and uh, this uh, methyl they are above the ring, same side, so it's a cis isomer. So means uh, this one alone, this product will give cis trans, so it's two uh, stereoisomer. If let's say now the bromine is uh, added to the second uh, carbon and hydrogen to the first carbon, uh, it will form the products on right hand side, this one. Uh, this one is actually quite complicated. Uh, um, so to make it uh, easier and understandable, uh, so let, let's make it uh, in this way. Um, because of course we know that the bromine and this methyl there will be uh, 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 above the ring and uh, below the ring, together or is separate. Um, because it's hard to uh, imagine and hard to really draw the things out. Okay, so uh, let's make it 
a bit simple. So for this one, okay, we know that after the addition, uh, it will form two chiral carbon. Okay, look carefully. Uh, after it's formed these products, this is the one chiral carbon, and this is another chiral carbon. Okay, because now these two carbon they have different four different groups. Okay, I just uh, use this one as example. This carbon is has one group, two group three group and four groups okay, because the sequence is different uh, it's from this side so it's ch2 ch2 ch ch3 it's from this side so it's ch ch3 ch2 ch2 so it's different sequence uh, so it's a different group um, so we know that uh, these two carbon is a chiral carbon okay, so since uh, these two they are chiral carbon uh, actually, it can form uh, four stereoisomers. Uh, that, that's, that's how uh, we make the things uh, a bit simple. Uh, so when we know it's two chiral center here, four stereoisomers, uh, plus the another two isomers just now, uh, total is actually six. So means when the HBr added to this uh, compound, this um, uh, three methyl cyclobutin, um, so it will form these two products, and these two products it will form six isomers, six uh, stereoisomers. So answer therefore is B. Okay, I hope you understand, uh, and uh, that that's uh, the best uh, it could be. Uh, I mean the explanation. Okay, that's all. Thank you.